Hello guys, this is Julia, and today in this video, I'm going to be upgrading the Samsung laptop I have here from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Now, believe it or not, there is still a way to get the free Windows 10 upgrade, but the bad news is the free upgrade offer workaround ends on December 31st, so if you want to upgrade to Windows 10, if you have a computer that's still running Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1, you're running out of time. I'm going to show you this computer, which believe it or not, my brother gave me a bunch of computers. I'll be recording videos on them. And these are the specs um, of them. And it looks like it messed up the experience index, so I'm just going to run this. Because I did update the display drivers today, so... It uninstalled them and reinstalled them, so because of that, it messed this up, so I have to rerun the experience index, but you guys saw the specs for a brief second, but I'll show them again, so if you miss them, don't worry, I'll show you guys them. Look at this, it even looks different right there. I don't know why it looks like that. Oh, maybe that was the old rating, 4.9. We'll see if it changes, because it's probably not going to change, because it's pretty much going to be the same. But I thought I'd run this beforehand, and I'll show you guys how to still do the free upgrade. I actually have my Windows 7 water bottle, which looks like it's wearing, so I'm going to probably use some black permanent marker to fix that. And I did make some art, so I'm going to show you guys some art I made. I made this for my sister, um, which she doesn't have it yet, because I'm going to see my family over this break, because I just started winter break today, last day of finals. Um, made this, which is Windows, and it has all the build numbers of Windows 10 on it. I keep all my flash drives in there. And I have this little Windows container, which I kept a couple of my flash drives in. But, not anymore, because, you know, I have a bigger container now, so I can put these down. I also made a couple Christmas ornaments, but they're on the tree right now, but I made this, and I think it's really cool, and you can flip the lid any way you want, and it's really cool, so I really enjoy that. I've got my setup here new wallpaper I just got today. I think it's pretty cool. So, probably should move this drink. I don't want to spill it on my computer. It's some um, citrus drop soda. Not bad. I actually made this, which is pretty cool. And all these other things in my office. I did an office tour, so if you guys have not seen the latest updated office tour, it was, I think it was the last video I did. Okay, here we go. 4.9. So there's the experience index if you guys are interested in anything here. Of course, graphics is the lowest. It's always the lowest. But the processor's got a really good rating. The gaming graphics actually isn't bad. Memory's not bad. It does have 4 gigs, but I might upgrade it because I have extra RAM sticks laying around. But I don't know how much like they all are or how much this computer can fit but I'm gonna investigate that so yeah these are just the specs of it it's running Windows 7 which I did grab a product key from another laptop so it is activated here and yeah you can't do anything with a product ID so that doesn't really matter if people are wondering because I've seen people blur it out before and I'm like you don't have to it's just an ID it's not like a key if it was a key, yeah, you don't want to show a product key. This computer had a key on the bottom, but it's worn, so I can't read it, so I had to get a key from another system, which did work, because I have several computers laying around that are messed up or broken, or just not really functional anymore, or too slow to run anything, so I just take the keys off of them if I don't use them. That key is not in use right now, because there's another operating system on that computer. But pretty much in this video, I'm going to be upgrading Windows 7 to Windows 10. Now let me show you, I have all the Windows updates applied. I actually updated this a couple weeks ago. I did every update on a fresh install, so I completely updated the install all the way back, you can see. It's a lot of updates, but they're for security, and I thought the upgrade would work better if you 
did all the updates and made sure it was a completely up-to-date installation because I think the disc I used didn't even have Service Pack 1 installed, so it was a really old disc. I even updated it today from the Patch Tuesday updates. I have not booted this computer in a while, so it's just not been on in a while, but if you saw on Windows Update, I even did all the optional updates. I did pretty much every update that you can possibly do because it would work better. But this laptop's not too bad, it's actually pretty fast. It's an older i5 processor, because I have another laptop over there and it's got a newer i5 in it. It's a little faster than this one, as well as it's newer, but the screen's broken on it, so I have to hook that one up to a monitor to use it. So, pretty much, you're gonna go to this website to upgrade on microsoft.com slash ANUS accessibility Windows 10 upgrade. Now, keep in mind, <coughs> Keep this in mind, guys. This is for people that actually use the assistive technologies. Like, you, people have abused the system, though. There's a lot of people that's actually done this, even though they don't use them. But actually, the funny thing is, I actually do have an eye condition. And so, technically, I would apply for that because I've actually used, like, magnifier before. In fact, I used to use it all the time. And I guess since the accessibility features have been improved in Windows 10, that's why they made it free for people that use those features. But, I mean, I guess, I mean, they're not going to know if you're upgrading this even though you don't use those features. But at this point, it really doesn't matter. It's only like one more week you can do it for. Actually, it's 10 days because it ends the 31st, it's the 21st. So, it's only got 10 more days to do this anyways. So, it really doesn't matter if you do it. So... I'm just gonna upgrade it. Because to be honest, Windows 10 I think is better than 7 and 8.1 just because it's the latest and greatest out there. I mean, yeah, there might be glitches, but keep in mind, not, not everything is perfect. So, yeah. So you're gonna download that file and say yes to this. I will put the link in the description of the video so you guys can go do this. I'm probably gonna upload this probably tomorrow, so it'll be probably nine days. So if you have any old computers that are still running Windows 7 or 8.1, go ahead and do this. You're running out of time. Click accept. It's compatible. And it's gonna say getting the upgrade ready. And yeah, so it's gonna download, it's gonna install, and then if you don't reboot within 30 minutes after it's done with this process, it will auto-reboot, start updating, and then afterwards it should work, and you should have Windows 10. So I think it's great that there's still a way to upgrade, and I can see why Microsoft is ending this, because anybody can do this. Like, they're not gonna know if you actually use those features, so pretty much that's the reason why they're shutting this down. Because a lot of people used this workaround since the free Windows 10 upgrade for the first year ended. So, they are now using this workaround here. Now, I may record some videos of how the upgrade goes. So, I'm going to record a couple videos. I'm not going to make this video super long. But, I will come back when we're either ready to reboot or if it's updating because I am going somewhere soon. So, so yeah. And I also have other things to do. But I will definitely come back at some point and show you what's going on with the computer. I can't guarantee you'll see before reboot, because I might not be here, but... Alright guys, I guess I'll be back and I'll talk about it more. Well, there's an error, so you can see that it's some DLL is missing. Uh, let's take a screenshot of that so I can actually save that, because I'm going to probably have to find that DLL somewhere. Oh, if I got, yeah, I got the whole thing in there. But apparently, I don't know what happened, but some DLL corrupted itself, so we're gonna retry and see if it works. Um, if it doesn't work again, then I'm gonna um, figure it out. So anyways, I'll be back. Hello guys, this is Julie, I'm back on the next day, and I found a fix for that error that I kept getting, which is to replace this file with the one from the System32 DLL, and a lot of people have said it's worked, so we're just gonna do that. So we're gonna copy this, ah, if I can even, I'm not using like a hooked up mouse, I'm using the laptop mouse, so it's a little more difficult, 
but let's see if it's in the Windows 10 upgrade folder. So if I go to C, Windows 10 upgrade, we'll see if it's actually in here. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's that one or that one. I can't remember which one. Let me see. WMI GAPI, yeah, it's this one. But is what we're gonna do with that filer is we're gonna go to System32 and search for that file and overwrite it. So if I go to Windows, and let's just type S because it's easier, and then we'll go to System32 and we're just gonna paste. And yeah, there it is. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Well, we're not gonna move it. How about I just copy it? Because I don't wanna like take it out of System32, but I wanna put the same copy and replace. Yeah, I wanna continue. Okay, there we go. We just did it. We just replaced it with the other file. So now we're gonna X out of this. We're gonna minimize that. And we're gonna try to run Windows 10 Upgrade Assistant again, or Update Assistant, because they did change the name. It used to be Upgrade Assistant but they changed it to update assistant except next and i don't know if it's gonna no it's not gonna download again good that means this is where it did it before as soon as it get to a hundred percent i'm verifying is when it would air so now that the dll is overwritten it should work in theory because we replaced the file so update assistant should work but verifying might take longer, because because before it was um, faster. Unless that was a problem that it was faster. Maybe that was an issue. Or maybe it's downloading again. I mean, I'm not even sure what it's doing here, but I really hope this works, because we really need to get this computer updated to Windows 10. Um, here's my computer right here, which has Windows 10 on it, and you can see how that transparent taskbar there, and classic shell, so I'm able to use the classic start menu there, but I can always switch to the other one with the click of a button, so that's pretty cool. But you could see this background is so cool, it actually matches my keyboard there, which is amazing. And I have my mouse here, which is cool. But um, Windows 10 is really good, and I have that transparent taskbar also with classic shell. Um, and I also have like arc theme, so it's all dark themed and stuff, which is cool. I am running out of storage though, I need to free up some space because I think I'm gonna reinstall Windows at some point just to clean up the clutter. I've had this install for um, like almost two months because I got this in the beginning of November because yeah, I had I, I kind of was um, forced to reinstall because Windows update just stopped working. So yeah, I guess good reason to reinstall if it's not working. But there is other ways to fix it, but those other ways were not working for me, so I just wiped it. So, yeah. And it's sad because that other install was actually a good install. It actually worked pretty good. Like, that was the only, like, issue with it. Everything else was flawless, so... That's not good, though, that it did that. But, anyways. Here we go. <gasps> it fixed it. It would have already given that air right now, and it did not. See what I'm saying, guys? I just saved the day. I looked up the that DLL, that long DLL, and said it was missing. Found an article, or a forum post, and the fix was right there. So if you guys ever have an error, and you don't know how to fix it, look it up first. Google the error code, or, the, or the, what the error contains. If there's no error code, like, if it says a file is missing, Google the file, blah, 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 it's missing. You'll find something. You'll, you'll find out how to fix it. And generally, like, for example, when I Googled this, it actually came up with, like, unable to update to Windows 10. So people that were upgrading to 10 seem to have this issue, too. A lot of people did. If I go back to this page, um, and scroll up. Say error update oh, upgrade to Windows 10, and a lot of people said like same issue, exact same issue. I'm dealing with the exact same thing, same exact issue. You know, a lot of people were having the same issue. 
someone said this worked, like, this worked for pretty much everyone, so that fix also worked for me as well, and everyone else is saying the same exact thing, so. Or you could just delete that file, apparently, but I would replace it with the one in System32, because if the DLL is missing, obviously that DLL is corrupt. Maybe the, um, the update assistant has a corrupt version of the DLL, and that's a way to fix it for Windows 7 users, because I know with 8.1 running this, it would be just fine, but for 7, apparently not. I'm, I'm not even sure what the deal is and why that happens, but um, I'll be back soon before it wants to reboot, and I want to get this video edited and uploaded today because it's now the 22nd, and this ends on the 31st, so we only have 9 days left to actually do this, so... I'm also going to do this to one of my other computers that's over there. Yeah, the screen's broken on it. I should probably tape that. So that way it's, you know, good. So, pretty much, guys, I'll be back, and this should work. So, yay! The internet saved the day for me, looking that up. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, this is Julia. I'm back, and it's ready to reboot to update. So we're going to reboot. I forgot about it because I was doing something. Windows 10 Update Assistant will reboot your device to complete the update. So within a minute, it's going to reboot. So I'll be right back. There it goes. Eee. So, yeah, shutting down. And it's going to reboot into the update. Yeah, don't we all love updates? They're awesome, right? Yeah, they are. They're amazing. Updates are amazing. Alright, come on. It's going to work. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, what was that? But I've never seen it do that. Alright, hopefully it goes to the updating screen, because I've never seen that. Yup. Working on updates, 0%. Don't turn off your PC, this will take a while. Your PC will restart several times. That is a build right there. Major update, if you see this screen. It's a major update. So, yeah, I haven't seen this in a while on mine. My computer. E. Yeah, I haven't seen that screen in a while. Um, anyways, it's gonna update. This might take like an hour, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Every computer's different. Mine only takes 20 minutes, believe it or not, on this. It'll restart when it's like at 30%, and then restart again at like 50, and then like at 75, I think. It's like three restarts. Um, anyways, I'm gonna come back when the update is done. So this took like an hour, I think, but it's done and we're gonna turn off all these, um, you know, privacy settings, and, uh, yeah, so let's just turn this off, and let's go, except, wait, I think I missed one back, no, I didn't, they're all off, okay, one time I actually was watching one of my old videos, and I noticed I missed one, and I I'm not sure what video that was, but I remember I missed one in one of the videos I did before, but pretty much, you guys can see that it's gonna just, it's gonna like set up and we'll be on Windows 10. So I'll come back when it's like on the desktop after all that setting up stuff is done. Alright, so I was doing stuff, but I'm back and you guys can see it says welcome to the best Windows ever. And yeah, so it's updated. Thank you for updating to the latest version of Windows 10. And it is Windows 10 now. We'll check, we'll check on um, Winver as well, but you can see Windows 10, and yeah, so we got Windows 10 on here. Um, we probably should run some Windows updates on this install, because it probably needs some, but I'll be able to see if it's on the latest, because I know what the latest, um, dot number is. Oh, we are on the latest, 16299.125. So, yeah, there we go. So, that's how you update to Windows 10 from Windows 7. Now, keep in mind, we only have nine more days to do this. By the time I upload it, probably eight days. I'll probably get this up tomorrow, maybe tonight. I'm not sure yet. But, pretty much, that's how you update. So, 
um thanks for watching hopefully this helps you guys if you have any old computers laying around that need update and yeah bye bye for now